Hello Scorpio, Heather here from the Crystal Vein Tarot here to do your weekly reading for May 25th through to the 31st. So this reading is a general reading and as a general reading the messages are not going to resonate for everyone so be sure to check out your moon and rising sign readings as well. Today I am using the Grand Deluxe Tarot for the card for the week and I'm reading the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for the week. And as a clarifier to the weekly card, I've pulled an Archangel Power Tarot card. And as usual, I am finishing up the reading with an Animal Speak Rune. So Scorpio, let's see what you have for this week. Ooh, okay, so you have the King of Swords. Okay, that's a nice energy. And it is being clarified by the Ace of Gabriel. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, so we have the Five of Cups here at the bottom of the deck for your overall energy. And your Animal Speak rune is, how fitting, the Manatee. So it's about trusting, especially with this Five of Cups card here. Okay, so Scorpio, so your, your energy for the week, the overall energy for the week is the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is can be a card about uh, feeling loss, um, grieving over something that you've lost, even feeling regret. This is because this is a, a, a Cups card. So Cups is all about your emotions. It's that water energy. And you can see that these Cups here that are dark and gray, they're no longer filled with things that emotionally fulfill her. Or they could represent things that she has lost. And she's feeling the emotional loss of these Cups. However, there are still two cups on this windowsill here and they're glowing yellow. They're still full and radiant and, and full of abundance and, and emotional abundance, but she's not focusing on them. So for the overall energy for the week, Scorpio, is you could be finding that you're focusing on things um, that you've lost. And this is kind of that card of don't cry over spilt milk. That rather than focusing on things that you no longer have or things that no longer fulfill you, Focus on the things that you do have and concentrate your energies there this week. So that's what this card is reminding you to do. Because then you have the King of Swords here. And you have the being clarified by the Ace of Gabriel. So the King of Swords, the Kings, Queens, they are masters of the energy of their suit. So the King, the suit, Swords energy is the intellect. It's air energy. It's the mind. It's your thoughts, your beliefs, your ideas. It's truths, it's, it's upholding justice, it's that because of that sort of truth type energy there. This is a card about, um, he, he's, he's very logical and, and focuses on logic and reason. He's very, very intellectually, um, he, he really has a lot of intellectual gifts. He's very intelligent, very sharp minded the King of Swords, and he uses that in order to be a leader, in order to let that guide him. He strategizes, he plans, um, he, uh, again, he ups hold justice and the truth. So, you know, he, he puts up with no BS. He he's gets, he's direct, blunt, and straightforward and gets to the point. So this is the energy that you have this week, and it's being clarified by the Ace of Gabriel. And the Ace of Gabriel is, this is, Aces are always new opportunities. So this is an opportunity that is coming in or a new beginning for you, a new path that you can choose that provides passion, opportunity, and inspiration. And it's a chance for you to do something amazing and, and, and have a sense of wonder. So I feel like by focusing, rather than focusing on your losses and focusing on what you have, it allows you to, to, to bring in something new in your life and it's that, that something is going to, to draw, bring passion, opportunity, inspiration. It's going to bring wonderful things to you and, and that sense of wonder and, and that fiery kind of energy of being very creative. And you're doing that by being reasonable, having this, this, this logic and reason, especially when it comes to, again, that crying over spilt milk. Okay, and then you have the manatee here as your animal speak rune. And the manatee, if this is a card about trust. Manatees, they're very gentle creatures. They, um, they're non-aggressive, they're non-territorial, and they're herbivores. And so they, they have that very 
peaceful, trusting, playful nature about them. So this indicates, Scorpio, that it's time for you to trust in what you feel, okay? And that um, for you to do what you know is right, and that's that King of Swords energy as well, about doing what is right and just, regardless of how others respond to you. And just know that whatever you do and, and however you move forward with something, that it's going to work out in your benefit and it's time for you to be responsible and, um, and that people will notice that and respond accordingly. It's also time for you to, to appeal and trust in the goodness and righteousness of others and trust in what your heart knows to be right and true. And that Ace of Gabriel, is, is that, that is about, you know, again, being inspired and following your heart because you're following your passions. And then gently pursue your goals. And so those are the messages of Manatee, and those are the messages that you have for this week, Scorpio. So Scorpio, this concludes your reading for the week of May 25th through to the 31st. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, click on that notification bell so you are notified when the next readings are available. Scorpio, have a fantastic week and take care.